Welcome to the magical world of science. Today, we're going to explore how we see things that are not sources of light. I'm Miss Ray, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Hi, Miss Ray. I'm excited to learn about how we see things. Great. Let's start by thinking about light. Can you tell me what the source of light is in your classroom? Hmm, I think it's the light bulbs on the ceiling. Exactly. Light bulbs are sources of light. Now, how do you think you're able to see me, your teacher? Maybe because the light from the bulbs bounces off you and into my eyes. That's a fantastic guess. You're right. Light reflects off objects and into our eyes, allowing us to see them. Let's investigate this further with a fun experiment. Yay, I love experiments. You'll need a large cardboard box, a flashlight, and a small object like a coin. We'll cut two holes in the lid of the box. One for the flashlight and one for you to peek through. Ready? I'm ready. What do we do next? First, cover the flashlight hole with your hand. Do you think you'll be able to see the coin inside the box? Hmm. I don't think so because there's no light inside. Let's test that prediction. Peek through the hole and see if you can spot the coin. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Now, let's shine the flashlight through its hole. Do you think you'll see the coin now? Yes, because the light will help me see it. Go ahead and try it. Wow, I can see the coin now. The light really makes a difference. Exactly. Light travels from the flashlight to the coin, bounces off and into your eyes. That's how we see things that aren't light sources themselves. That's so cool. It's like magic. Science can feel magical, can't it? Now, let's think about how well we did. How confident are you in making predictions and testing them? I think I did quite well, but I might need a bit more practice. That's perfectly okay. Practice makes perfect. Now, let's wrap up. Can you summarize what you've learned today? Sure. I learned that we see things because light reflects off them and into our eyes. And we can test our ideas by making predictions and seeing if they're right. Wonderful summary. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious. And remember, there's always more to discover in science.